Hey guys, it's Poison Fang, and I'm coming at you with another vlog, I guess. So, I wanted to let you guys know that if you can't tell by my outfit, yes, I'm wearing Mindy. I'm wearing a Bendy onesie right now and Bendy fingerless gloves. The reason for this is because I just got them while I was on, while I was at a trip in Lexington. The reason I was in Lexington was because I went to see Jeff Dunham. My fiance was kind enough to buy us tickets and we went to go see him now <sighs> that shit's not gonna help me now guys I wanna let you know it is flu season right now it really is. And if you can't tell, I'm sick. I'm fucking sick today. <clears throat> I haven't checked down my throat and I saw white. So I possibly have strep throat right now. Along with a really bad sore throat and it almost hurts to swallow coffee that that shit's not helping me <clears throat> I just took some medicine hopefully that works um, so besides me uh, how are you guys doing I hope your mornings are going all right I hope school's going all right and work <clears throat> So, uh, honestly, I don't really fully know what I should talk about right now. All I do know is that I'm sick as fuck right now, and I hope you guys aren't too. I hope you guys are not, because it's not a fun thing. <clears throat> Ugh. Hey, Bubba. I love you, too. Now please, please go back on the chair, Bubba. Mm. Please. Please. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, I love you too. Yes, this is my pupper. <clears throat> no, get, get on the chair. Get on the chair, Bubba. Now, get on the chair. Or that, I guess that's a good thing too. <sighs> So, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that I've been keeping up with a lot of video game release dates besides Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today is actually Spyro. So, for any of you who do not know, Spyro is coming out today. I plan to go get him or have someone go get him for me. <clears throat> So, if that's the case, I guess that's the case. <sighs> Besides that, of course, we all know the 16th of November. We have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee coming out this coming Friday. Um... 
Next Tuesday we have, you guessed it, Bendy coming to Switch. <clears throat> for any of you who are just as excited as I am for it, I so am playing that over again so I can figure out some secrets. Because apparently you do. But you have to finish the game first. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, if you guys saw my last video, I was talking about Smash Bros. And the very last Smash Ultimate Direct that we got. And also, if you kept up with watching every single bit until the very end, you would know we are getting Piranha Plant. Now, I'm going to be a freaking troll and play that character. So, yeah. Honestly, though, um... Honestly, I'm kind of in a bind a little bit because I'm trying to figure out what to get my best friend Landon for Christmas, and I don't know what to get him. He usually keeps up with video games like I do, so I can't really get him Smash Bros because he'll probably get it himself. Um, honestly, I don't even know. Usually, it's... He's a gamer, a streamer, a musician, and a cosplayer. So the only things I really end up thinking about getting him is the um, is a video game that he hasn't gotten yet. I usually end up getting him a music book. Well, this would be the first time of me getting him a music book. Um, or I get him something cosplay related. Honestly, I have a couple other ideas that are a little bit uh, age-restricted, but, you know, you know, there's always those possibilities, too, um, as like a god gift or something. Honestly, I already have an idea of what to get my mother and what to get my fiance. Just, it's always him that's so hard to find a present for. Honestly, I don't even know what he's going to get me. I was thinking of possibly like a body pillow for him of his favorite waifu. Um, I was thinking that. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, but it is a strong possibility. Oh my god. <coughs> Ow. That really fucking hurts. So, for any of you who have beards and are keeping up with No Shave November, along with this other one called No Nut November, I don't know what that is. So, if anyone who watches this, can you please let me know down in the comments what that is? Because I don't guess I know what it is. I saw it on Lost Pauses video. About the no nut November. <clears throat> Jesus. Excuse me. <laughs> I won't stop. I swear to God, I wish I could just 
freaking make it stop. Bye bye. No. Don't you do that to me, you asshole. Uh uh, no. Damn it. And then you do it right where I can't reach you. Yeah, then I just gotta drag him over the freaking floor. Just so I can reach him. Yes, I love my brother too. Yes, I do. Yeah. Alright, hang on. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, but yes, sometimes he'll just go halfway toward you, and then he'll lay over on his back waiting for you to pet him. And if you can't reach him, sometimes you just take his foot and you just slowly drag him over. That way you don't hurt him. Bye bye. Good boy. Stay. I'm just gonna finish the video and then I'm gonna be done, okay? Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, yeah, at the uh, Jeff Dunham show, I got a plushy peanut. Got a peanut plushy, and then I got mom a um, Jose Jalapeno on a steak plushy, which she actually was happy with that. She actually said that she wanted one, but she didn't actually expect me to get her one, so I was like, well, I got you one, so. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm getting hairs all over me. So, guys, hopefully you guys aren't getting sick. I really hope not, because it's not a fun thing to do. You, some of you kids might think it's fun, but y you just gotta end up working your ass off to catch up after that, so it's not fun at all. Maybe fun for a few minutes, but then once you get back to school, you're like, oh crap, I've got some freaking makeup homework to do, because heaven forbid my class decide they are gonna have homework so that means it ruins my day of being of either playing hooky or calling in sick <clears throat> no offense to you people who are actually calling in sick with something bad thing is, my throat's the, the one thing that freaking woke me up this morning, was my throat. Because it felt weird. So let's see, what else to talk about? Mm. Oh yeah, the video game release dates. <clears throat> After Bendy comes out on the 20th, then there's no other releases until Smash Bros. So, that's going to be great. Honestly, I can't wait to get my hands on that game. Because I feel like that's going to be an amazing game. I'm probably going to go ahead and start off with the story mode. Because I really want to find out what the hell is it. Like, what the hell happens. <clears throat> And then I want to see what the fuck that thing is with the double wings. Because I want to know what the hell that is. And I swear to God, if that is taboo, I'm ripping its wings off and attaching them to my own body. After I destroy that piece of shit. Because taboo, yes, lo and behold, he was a great flipping boss. He was a great final boss. He was. But, you know, the fact is that he was so fucking annoying when <clears throat> when he would do that one thing that you could not get past. Like, I guess it was like a an impulse, like 
I don't remember because it's been so long since I've played the game. Actually, I've given that game to my fiance right now. <clears throat> so, yeah, once we move in together, I'll still have that game at my disposal. I just won't be playing it very often, but it's going to be part of my collection. I was actually going to try and see if I could have all of the uh, Smash Bros. games. But seeing as those are very rare to find, yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm not really talking much, guys. It kind of hurts to talk. Um... <clears throat> If anything, I guess I can go ahead and get off now, so I can let my rest, my voice rest. <clears throat> um, so, just if anything, if you guys have any ideas about what to possibly get Landon for Christmas, by all means, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comments for me to read. Um, If you, if you guys have put anything down in the comments for my previous videos, I will look through them and read them. And yes, one person did point out that, yes, I did say goodbye to YouTube before, but I meant a hiatus. <clears throat> right now, I've just been making videos, getting them out. That way I have something to do while me and Landon aren't streaming right now. Because he's got schoolwork to worry about and I've got schoolwork to worry about. <clears throat> I mean, heaven forbid, I have... I just had a paper due. I had a five-page pathology paper due and I did it on epilepsy. So for any of you people out there who have epilepsy... I hope that I've done you proud because some people don't realize what epilepsy is and that they think that seizures and epilepsy are different and they're not. Epilepsy is just recurring seizures and I wanted to get that info out there on what it was on a cellular level and I wanted to just let people know what to expect with someone that has epilepsy. So, I just got done with that paper. Heaven forbid I had to do all that paper myself. No, mostly because I said no help because I didn't want any help. I wanted to hurry up and get it done on my own. And not only that, but I wanted to see if I could get a five page paper done in one day, and it turns out I couldn't. I could get a almost four pages done in one day, but the last page I had to do on my own. I had to do the next day. I mean, um, other than that, I, I think I have a test next week, so I'll probably have to start studying for that. If anything, I haven't been writing down notes, so I need to upload those notes from my blackboard thing um, <clears throat> oh that doesn't help <clears throat> I should have known I should have just drank chicken broth instead and for any of you who do not know Chicken broth is actually a really good remedy for your throat. Do not drink coffee. If you drink hot tea, then yes, that'll work. If you do not drink... If you drink coffee for this, please don't. It doesn't work. Because I'm trying it right now and it's not working. <clears throat> Chicken broth, however, does work. I mean, literally, it's like you're drinking chicken noodle soup. 
it's actually a great remedy. It really is. <clears throat> Sometimes I drink it for no reason because I'm so used to drinking it now that Sometimes I just do it just because I want to drink a chicken noodle soup. But, yeah. For any of you who have not heard about that remedy before, it's, it's a home remedy. It's like an old... It's almost like an old wives' tale thing. But this one's where, like, it actually does help. Um... I had my dad try it because he's never had chicken broth before so I had him try it and he actually liked it I think he actually started getting better because of it because heaven forbid with this family of mine here's how it goes dad gets sick first then me and then mom or it's usually vice versa. Mom's first, then me, then dad. Can someone try to explain that to me? Of why that is? Because I'm starting to get very annoyed by it. Why can't I just be exempt from getting sick for one damn day? Oh well. It's already happened. Might as well just let it run its course. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I got visitors coming to check my fuse box. So, it was great talking with you guys. I know my vlog probably didn't make much sense. But, you know, oh well. I'm probably on vlog, f this is probably vlog 5 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and be done with the video, um, again, hopefully you guys are having a great day at school, hopefully your grades are up, hopefully work's going okay, hopefully there's nobody pissing you off, because if anything, if you have temper issues, please try to control your temper. We do not need you busting out in rage wherever you are. I know this feeling, but thankfully I've had people to help me out and now I don't have much anger issues anymore. So thank you to, to my mother and thank you to my fiance for helping me out and to the best conscience ever, Landon. Thank you all for helping me out with this. I couldn't be more happier because I've had less stress because of my temper has gone down. And for any one of you who says that you can't control it, bullshit. You can. You can control it. It's not hard, you just need to set your mind to it. Well, Actually, yes, it is hard. I will tell you this, it is very hard. When you're used to having your anger lash out almost every day, and then all of a sudden you've just... It's like you've put a little bit of Zenyatta from Overwatch into your body and let the good vibes flow. It's like you've had the orb of harmony put on top of you. And yes, guys, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Ah! It's peeling. Yay, it's starting to peel, finally. Jesus. Took long enough. Yes. Okay, I got tattoos. This is Discord, and this is Harmony. I know it's hard to see that, maybe, I don't know, but yes, 
these are the tattoos that I got and yes they are starting to peel finally so it means they're healing up so that means they're going to be fully permanent yes if you did not know tattoos fucking hurt like a bitch they do um, I know Bubba I love you too But yes, okay, you guys. Tattoos fucking hurt. They do. For any one of you who are thinking about getting one, make sure you know your pain tolerance. Because, I mean, it's not a fun feeling. It isn't. But you want it done, so you kind of just go and get past the pain. Thankfully, I had my fiance there with me because I asked her to be there. Because I feel like this was an exciting moment and I wanted her to share it with me. Um, and it, it was great. It really was. It was better than what I thought. It didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Because, like, once he started, it's like that piece was halfway numb, but I could still feel the pain. And it was great. Go on, Jack. Go on. Knock her out of the way. It doesn't matter. She's taking all of it up and you want a spot on there. Just push her out of the way. That's fine. Yeah, just with my dogs, Willow likes to take up like most of the room wherever they're both trying to lay. I just tell Jack, just push her out of the way. It's fine. I mean, that's kind of what you got to do with her. You kind of just got to push her out of the way if you're wanting to sit where she is. But she likes to be a little hog and take up all the room for everything. So, good boy. But yeah, sometimes you just got to nudge her out of the way and be like, move. Move. But yeah. Uh, yes, though. I chose Discord and Harmony because they actually mean something to me. They tell me... This reminds me that everyone is filled with great Harmony, but then they're also filled with great Discord as well. After that, most likely I'm going to go ahead and get my fairy tale symbol put right here on my shoulder. Now I can be Gajil. Um, after that, I don't think I have anything else. So Just remember guys, make sure you know what you want before you put it on your body permanently. And don't forget to also check your pain tolerance because these are three pronged needles that are going into your skin and literally engraving something inside of you. So don't forget that. They are literally carving into your skin and making something. But for all you people who have parents that might say, you know, don't get tattoos because they're sinning. Well, what else do you want them to get that could be not sinning? Because it doesn't matter what you do, we are born sinners. So we can't really change that. And yes, guys, I don't mean to get, like, religious on here because I try to leave my religion out of it when I get on these videos. I really try to because, really, it doesn't matter to me what religion you are. 
as long as you believe, you're good in my book. If you don't believe, then hey, you're still a friend. Just, I just know not to speak religion around you. But honestly, it doesn't matter what religion you are. Um, but seriously though, I don't know why some people think that you're just putting sins on your skin and engraving them. I call it, your body's a temple. You're not ruining it, you're decorating. So yes, okay. People think you're ruining your temple. Your temple. But in my, in my views, I think you're just decorating. Your temple looks bland. You're like, hey, you know what? I want to decorate my temple. I want to decorate my castle. Make it look good. And so that's what I did. I decorated my castle. So if you guys ever are having like second thoughts because of parents saying, oh, you're sinning, oh, you're doing something that Satan might do, or that's encouraged by Satan, do not listen to that. If you want one, you go get one. I don't understand why people are like this. I really don't. I mean, a person I know, their their mom is like super, super religious, and she's like, oh, you're ruining your temple if you do this. Well, you know what? I say, if you want one, you go for it, okay? It's as simple as that. Especially if you are 18 and over, if you want a tattoo, and you have the money to pay for it, then go for it. Just make sure that this is something you truly want. That's all I'm going to give you as advice. Make sure you want this permanently engraved on your body. Because I do not want you to regret anything. I don't want you to regret having something on there that you don't want later. This means something to me. So that's why I got it. Fairy tale, the anime, means something to me. So I'm getting it. I'm literally getting possibly every anime that I truly have a connection to. I'm most likely going to get it engraved on my body. Because if I don't, then I'm going to feel like I'm not complete. So, if anything, I might have the Gremory seal placed on my body. And the intricate design, yeah, that's probably going to hurt like hell. But, you know, hey, I want it. So, and yes, guys, it's going to take a long time before I probably get that. Because I'm going to take like maybe two years in between tattoos. That way I can build up the money. So, okay, it's 9-11. I need to hurry up and get off here. So, again, guys, hopefully school is going well. Hopefully work is going well. Hopefully you're not getting pissed off at somebody who's bugging the shit out of you right now. And all of you have a great day. And if this vlog did not make sense to you at all, just roll with it. Right now, I just, with my vlogs, I say anything that pops out of my head. Like, because I feel like this is a great stress reliever for me. That way, I talk about things that I really feel like needs to be talked about. And... Fuck, it's not doing anything.
honestly, that's what my vlogs are about. I just talk about things that I think need to be said, and I just talk about them. Honestly, don't care whose opinions are what. I just talk about it. So, thank you all for watching, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like, if you like this content. If you do, I don't know why you're still here. Actually, if you do, I'm, I'm just like, what's wrong with you? And if you like this video, feel free to like, press the like button. It's whatever. Um, and I will see all you beautiful people in the next video. Bye-bye.